Since the 1940s and the introduction of penicillin, we've been involved in an evolutionary arms race with bacteria. With each new drug that we introduce in the market to treat bacterial infections, the bacteria have evolved resistance to these drugs, and so we must follow each new drug with yet another new drug to keep bacterial infections in check. Should we lose the ability to treat bacterial infections that are spread in a hospital, going to a hospital for a simple operation or for the birth of a child could be a life-threatening event. This would be, of course, devastating to U.S. healthcare. Most antibiotics come from microorganisms, and in fact, bacteria naturally produce antibiotics to defend themselves. So our goal is to screen through a collection of bacteria that produce small molecules that work against antibiotic-resistant pathogen, basically to find a new replacement of penicillin. We've discovered a new trick in our labs that allows us to more rapidly determine how a new molecule that kills bacteria kills bacteria. And this method, which we call bacterial cytological profiling, is really an almost magical method. We use high-resolution microscopy to perform the equivalent of an autopsy on a bacterial cell to understand how it died. This will allow us to more rapidly characterize molecules that are discovered and advance them into uh, trials and move them through the drug discovery pipeline.